In this video, we're going to make the bottom uh, valve body cylinder head. And uh, that part is going to go here. Last video, we finished the piston rings up on this guy. And uh, this bottom cylinder head will be pretty much just like this one, except for this guy here. And uh, I was going to cast it because. Uh, I don't know if you remember, like, so the reason why I casted this head was because I wanted the whole, I wanted everything to be a consistent texture. Um, and I would have done that with, I would do that with this one, but, I mean, I'm going to see how this looks. And basically when I cast parts, it, it, it take the time it takes to finish them and actually make them is way longer. Um, my casting process is not the most efficient and uh you know there's machining problems and stuff like that and centering things up rough cast like it just everything's more difficult when you have a rough casting and really there's no reason for these to be castings these heads um other than the aesthetics and now over here i didn't want to i wanted i wanted those aesthetics meaning the the surface texture because it's a really big part but these guys these heads are small and once it's painted like nobody's gonna tell um, so for the if I want to be done this century I'm gonna have to sacrifice my need to have this surface te texture and everything so we're gonna make the bottom head today uh, out of cast iron and I have that cast iron in the chuck with the steady rest uh, it's a little noisy when I turn on <laughs> Uh, but that's okay. So that's just gonna hold it steady. and We're gonna carve it out out of this piece. This isn't a super complicated part. Okay, so first uh, We are going to Face it off Where's my wrench? There it is. Let's lock the carriage Okay, uh, cleaned it up. So let's see where we're at. I think this is two and five eighths when I got it. Yeah, so this is two inch, five hundred eighty thousandths now. Uh, so we got to get it down to two and a quarter. So we need. Uh, at least 200, uh, 280,000. So I'm going to start turning that. Try 40,000. So we need 50,000 left. I'm doing a 40 thou cut and then we're going to see where we're at and then I'll dial it in. This, this dimension is not super critical so I'm just going to use the calipers. That should be uh, plenty fine. Alright, let's see. Okay, 15. Dial in 15. Yep. This should be the last pass. thousandth over. I'm going to call that good enough. 
and uh, next we're going to poke a hole in it and then we'll turn the, uh, the shoulder. Alright, we got our center drill. We're going to put a little mark uh, at, at depth that will be more than enough. Alright, we got a half inch. Just putting a boring bar through it just to clean it up because it was the drill is kind of moving around a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna turn that shoulder now. So I've touched off on the face, it's not super critical, and I've zeroed out the indicator. So this step is going to be a quarter inch deep. So we're gonna move over a quarter of an inch, 100 200 and 50, oh, a little more, 50, and uh, now we're going to make a little mark, first let me, uh, Mark the chart first, and then we're going to touch it. Okay. There's a chatter. So now we know that that step is at the depth. So now I'm going to turn it to size, and according to the drawing, it's uh, an inch and a quarter, a couple foul less than an inch and a quarter. So let's see where we are at. Right, we need another fifty five thousandths. Yeah. So let me dial in forty. Take another measurement and we'll see where we're at. So we're gonna take a little less or a little more than that. So that's ten. Twelve, fourteen. We're gonna take eighteen thou. A little bit of chatter. So we're about four, oh, four under, which is good. I want it to fit in there nice. So let me lock the carriage, and then I'm going to back out of here, clean up the space. That's too deep. Rigid enough. 
Okay, so we're going to uh, lop this off, and then we're going to flip it around and indicate it in, and then do the other side. So we need to figure out how, uh, where to lop it off. So the drawing says, let's see here, it's 813 thousandths thick from here, so that's a, roughly a quarter inch. So... Um, Let's see here, actually. So, so if I go up, so from this shoulder to the end of the part is 563 thousandths. So actually, I'm going to go up um, an extra hundred, so I have plenty of room. So we're going to, I've already touched off, and let's see, we're going to go six, let's just do 660, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 60, right there. So let's get a little sharpie mark. Okay, that should be more than enough. So I'm actually going to put this on the, uh, the bandsaw, we're going to cut that off and then mount it in the chuck opposite and do the other side. Okay, my bandsaw cuts a little crooked, so we're going to clean this up. It's all indicated in to within a thousand. So that's going to be good enough for tolerance. Okay, that is all evened out and cleaned up, so let's see where we're at. Six hundred eleven thousandths. Uh, we're, well, let's just do five seventy-five. So six eleven minus five seventy-five. Okay, we need to take another 36 thou. So let me set up, I'm going to set up my indicator. Okay, so. Let's, uh, Alright, let's see here. Perfect. Let's uh, debury that file. go. Okay, so I touched off at the front and we need to go over 375. 1, 2, 3, 75 and make a little mark with a sharpie. Come on, get in there. Alright, so now we're going to turn to that line and it's going to be 1.505. I have no idea why I made it 505. This isn't a critical measurement, but I'm going to follow my drawing regardless because it's always a good idea. So, let's start turning this. Now, I'm going to stop shortly before that line, actually, because I want to come in here with a radius tool 
Let's see if I can make that corner look like a radius, since this isn't a casting. Thirty-four. That's uh, ten, twenty, thirty. I'm just gonna go straight for it. Thirty-four. This isn't a super critical measurement. Okay. Let's see how. Let's deeper that. Perfect. Five oh five and a half. Okay, so uh, next we're gonna I'm gonna come in in this wall and we're gonna try to radius just a little bit that corner. Right, let me see what I have in terms of tools. So now I'm just gonna profile it a little bit, accentuate that. Uh, I I did that radius. I cut the tool a little weird. It's not a full radius. I shouldn't have taken. I shouldn't have cut this this diameter down the spec first. Lesson learned. That's okay. So now I'm gonna profile it to have kind of a rounded appearance, like a casting would. Okay. Maybe I can get this. Pretty dangerous. But I want to get this corner to be kind of round. That looks pretty good. Damn, it's fun. Focus. 